Gandharaya, the thinking, known during its early years as Gandharaya Literara Artistica Sociala, the literary, artistic, social thinking, was a Romanian literary, political, and art magazine. Topic <inaudible> Overview. <inaudible> <inaudible> Founded by Caesar Petrescu and D. I. Cucu in the city of Cluj, and first issued on May 1, 1921 as a literary supplement for the Cluj-based Voenta, it was originally a modernist and expressionist-influenced journal. During its early existence, it attracted criticism from the traditional cultural establishment for allegedly allowing influences from Germanic Europe to permeate Romanian culture. Gandarea moved to Bucharest in October 1922, and, in 1926, its leadership was joined by the nationalist thinker Nicifor Krainik. He became its director and ideological guide in 1928, gradually moving it toward a mystical orthodox focus itself occasionally referred to as Gandirism. With just two interruptions in publication 1925 and 1933-34, Gandarea became one of the most important cultural magazines of the Romanian interwar period. A proponent of home-grown traditionalist ideas, it eventually found itself in opposition to Subaratoral, the modernist magazine headed by literary critic Eugen Lovinescu, as well as to the journal Viata Romaneasca, which stood for the left-wing and agrarian current known as Popperinism. In its later years, Gandarea routinely hosted fascist-inspired and anti-Semitic articles, largely reflecting Kranich's own political views. By then, numerous disputes were taking place between Kranich supporters and former Gandareya collaborators such as literary critic Tudor Vianu and poet Tudor Argezi. Additional debates were carried between Kranich and the centrist political figures Nikolai Iorga and Constantin Radulescu Motru over the nature of nationalism and religion in Romania. The magazine often identified its secularist adversaries with materialism, and occasionally accused modernist figures in Romanian literature of writing pornography. Gandarea was briefly closed down over suspicions that it was supporting the fascist Iron Guard, and, between 1938 and 1944, endorsed the successive dictatorial regimes of the National Renaissance Front, the National Legionary State, and conducator Ion Antonescu. During World War II, it expressed support for Antonescu's anti-Semitic policies, which Kranich claimed to have inspired. Together with all other publications Kranich was heading, Gandarea ceased to be published in 1944, as Romania ended its alliance with the Axis powers. Contributors Several circles were formed around Gandarea, bringing together a large part of the period's Romanian intellectuals, Ion Barbu, Vasile Bansila, Lucian Blaga, Dan Bada, Alexandru Busuiosianu, Matteo Caragial, Vasile Chocalteu, Oscar Walter Chisek, Anastase Damian, Radu Gir, N. I. Hirescu, Ventila Horia, Adrian Maniu, Gib Mihaiescu, Tiberiu Mosoyu, Stefan I. Nanitescu, Ovidiu Papadima, Victor Papillion, Ioan Petrovici, Ion Pilot, V. I. Popa, Jos Protopopescu, Ion Marin Sadovanu, Ion San Giorgio, Zaharia Stanku, Dimitru Staniloi, Paul Sterian, Francisc Serrato, Al. O. Teodorianu, Ionel Teodorianu, Sandu Tudor, Tudor Vianu, Pan M. Vizarescu, Vasile Voikulescu, G. M. Zamfirescu. Many other intellectuals and artists had their work published in Gandarea, and some of them were only temporarily associated with the journal. They include Tudor Argezi, George Kalinescu, Serban Chocolescu, Petra Padria, Mircea Iliadi, Emil Sioran, Marcel Janko, Ion Vinia, and Mircea Vulcanescu. History Beginnings <laughs> 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 For much of the 1920s, the magazine was a venue for modernist criticism, and involved in theoretical debates over the influence of German and Austrian-influenced expressionism on early 20th-century culture. Gandiria's early years coincided with the aftermath of World War I and the establishment of Greater Romania, making the magazine one of several newly established Romanian-language periodicals in the formerly Austro-Hungarian region of Transylvania. 
It has thus been argued that, before moving to Bucharest, the magazine was also involved in promoting a unitary Romanian culture inside the newly acquired province, but this appears to have been one of its secondary goals. Without producing its own an artistic program, Gandare accounted among the few Romanian publications to praise expressionist culture, its editors often extended the term to non expressionists such as Constantine Broncusi, Max Reinhardt, Alexander Arkhipenko, and Dmitry Mareshkovsky. This focus on emotion and expression was especially present in essays contributed by Adrian Maniu and Ion San Giorgio, as well as in Ion Marin Sadovanu's chronicles about the impact of Gothic traditions on early 20th century literature. The expressionist trend, accompanied by Gandiria's frequent and sympathetic reviews of futurism and Dada, caused Kranich, who was only a correspondent at the time, to express his distaste. Despite hosting a large number of essays on art criticism, and in contrast to the style of avant garde journals such as Contemporanal, Gandiria rarely featured expressionist graphics. Notably, in 1924, the editors chose to illustrate an issue with a print by the proto expressionist Edvard Munch, commented upon by Tudor Vianu. Nevertheless, later in the same year, painter Francisc Serrato used Gandarea as a means to popularize his essays on visual arts in Romania, in which he publicized his break with expressionist influences and his newfound interest in Romanian specificity in local art and folklore. In parallel, Oscar Walter Chisek's Art Chronicle, published between 1923 and 1929, gave overall equal exposure to all existing modernist trends. Literature produced by the first of several Gandarea circles received criticism from several traditionalist circles for being one of sick modernists. Notably, the historian and politician Nicolae Iorga, one of the major cultural figures of his time, cited fears that Romania was becoming Germanized. He argued that, aside from Kranich's poetry it published, the magazine was copying Germanic ideals originating with the art groups of Munich and Vienna. Gandarea is the window copy of modernist jargon muttered by Munich only to be responded through other paradigms, insane or charlatanesque, by Vienna. By that moment, however, the magazine was itself fusing expressionist influences with traditionalist aesthetic goals, to the point where it had become, according to Lucian Blaga, a bouquet of centrifugal tendencies. During the 1920s, Gandarea hosted polemical articles by the traditionalists and traditionalist-inspired Iorga, Kranich, Caesar Petrescu, and Pamphil Sicaru. Writing much later, Kranich expressed his opinion that the two visions were only apparently contradictory. Expressionism in painting is a German fatality. But from Germany, it has migrated towards us as well. Have the poetry of Blaga and Adrian Maniu, the theatre of Blaga, Maniu, lost their ethnic and therefore traditional specificity for having borrowed the expressionist style from wherever? Reviewing the emphasis of traditionalism subsequently present in Gandiria's pages, the critic Ovid Kromalnisianu argued that it was no less an evidence of a new kind of literature. Although the main proponent of traditionalism, Kranich himself remained open to some modernist influences, and translated the innovative works of Rainer Maria Rilke into Romanian. <laughs> Early conflicts From the late 1920s and over much of its existence, Kranich's press engaged in polemics with modernists of the Eugen Lovinescu school, which at times turned into accusations that Lovinescu was a petty poser and a falsifier of Romanian culture. Kranich and his traditionalist followers rejected Lovinescu's views on local synchronism with Western culture. Their attitude in regard to the latter has drawn comparisons with protochronist messages in communist Romania, both claiming the superiority and primacy of Romanian culture over its Western counterparts. Although Kranich publicized his thoughts on the matter mainly through his other periodical, Sfarma Piatra, Gandarea notably hosted a 1926 article in which he likened the fight against Lovinescu's influence to a second independence of Romania. During the 1930s, Gandarea was at the center of virulent polemics involving, on one side, former contributors such as Tudor Argezi and Tudor Vianu, and, on the other, those younger journalists who recognized Kranich as their mentor. Initially, this took the form of a Gandarist critique of both modernism and the socialist inspired current known as Popperinism. In a 1930 article for Gandarea, Kranich notably indicated his distaste for the irremediable materialism 
he believed to be professed by the rival Viata Romaneasca. Following this, Vianu, whose political options contrasted with the new trend, chose to discontinue his contributions and joined the staff at Viata Romaneasca. Although Lucian Blaga shared some views with Kranich, he too decided to distance himself from the magazine as early as 1930, writing to Vianu that he did not consider himself a disciple of our common friend Nietzschefor's orthodoxy. Kranich's impact In December 1931, as the magazine celebrated its first decade, Kranich summed up Gandiria's guidelines, stressing that its commitment to orthodoxy, the Romanian monarchy and nationalism set apart a person from our generation from a thousand others. These are nothing other than absolutely necessary conditions which make possible the true spiritual life. This is what our precursors cannot comprehend, being a sad generation liquidating a culture that was not theirs and through this was not even cultural." The Viata Romaneasca columnist George Kalinescu was skeptical of Kranich's politics, and noted his alternation between various nationalist camps. Commenting on Gandiria's choice to support Carol II at the time when he replaced his son Mihai I as king 1930, he likened Kranich to Judas Iscariot. Kranich is a person incapable of any privation, seeker of pieces of silver and worldly pleasures, great seeker of noisy shindings where pistols are being fired, a cajoler and a careerist, outrageously dedicating Gandareya today to Herm Mihai, tomorrow to Herm Carol II, the day after tomorrow to the great apostle of the nation Nikolai Iorga, at any moment when the homage could be tied to the pursuit of a personal interest. At the time, Gandirism owed inspiration to Russian émigré authors, both Orthodox traditionalists such as Nikolai Berdyaev and several advocates of the nationalist and mystical Eurasianist trend Nikolai Trubetskoy, Pyotr Savitsky, Pyotr Alekhaev, and Ivan Ilyan. Around 1934, Kranich reflected upon the connection his magazine had with other traditionalist cultural institutions, and concluded that his group was fulfilling the legacy of the more secular but equally traditionalist magazine Samonitoral. Over the land that we have learned to love from Samanatoral we see arching itself the azure tarpaulin of the Orthodox Church. We see this substance of this Church blending in with the ethnic substance." More than a decade later, Kalinescu argued that an enduring trait of Gandirism to which he referred as Orthodoxism had been a manifest belief in miracles. He believed to have noticed this in the works of Gandareya contributors such as Mircea Vulcanescu in his homage to the deceased painter Sabin Pop, whom he allegedly regarded as a saint, Vasile Chokalteu, who asks from God, in one of his poems, the favor to hold hot coals in his hands, and the Athenite pilgrim Sandu Tudor, who believed in the workings of a mysterious miracle. As explanations for various events, in his later columns for Gandareya, Kranich focused on explaining his ideal of ethnocracy in connection with the magazine's overall goals. This involved the denunciation of foreign elements and minority islands, with a specific focus on the Jewish Romanian community. Jews make use of an indolent hospitality in order to deprive our kin of its ancient patrimony, and its alleged connections with the political establishment. In statements, in speeches and in acts of government our Democrats have always declared themselves on the side of intruders and the allogeneous." According to Kalinescu, Kranich, unlike the regime in Nazi Germany, was not condoning racism as much as religious antisemitism. For reasons of churchly policy, the race factor is averted and Kranich takes a stand against racism in Nazi Germany and those nationalists who advocate the elimination of Christianized Jews and deny them baptism. The church is open to all. Although it is not said outright, it is understood that a baptized Jew becomes a Romanian, nation and religion being correlated notions. Gandareya has thus received plenty of rallied, that is to say orthodoxized, Jews. In parallel, around 1931, the magazine's approach to philosophy was criticized by the personalist thinker Constantine Radulescu Motru, who deemed it bellatristic. The traditionalist philosopher Mircea Vulcanescu, although himself only occasionally associated with Gandareya, defended Kranich's influence in front of the pragmatic conservative Junimist tradition arguably represented by Radulescu Motru inside the University of Bucharest. 
Writing in 1937, Kranich celebrated Gandiria's role in making nationalism and orthodoxy priorities in Romania's intellectual and political life. The term ethnic with its meaning of ethnic specificity imprinted in all sorts of expressions of the people, as a mark of its original properties, has been spread for 16 years by the journal Gandireia. The same thing applies to the terms of autochthonism, traditionalism, orthodoxy, spirituality and many more which became the shared values of our current nationalist language. Topic: 1934 hiatus and recovery. A scandal erupted in 1934, when the magazine was closed down over Kranich's implication in the trial of Premier Ion G. Duca's assassins, all of them members of the Fascist Iron Guard a movement to which Kranich was close at the time. Instigation of the killing was attributed to, among others, Kranich, who faced trial, Gandareya, like Calendural his other major journal, was closed down by the authorities. The editor was eventually acquitted, but Calendural was never allowed to resume print. Instead, Kranich focused his energy on issuing Svarma Piatra. Following its re emergence, Gandareya was again involved in a debate with Radulescu Motru. Among others, the latter contended that the Gandarist focus on orthodoxy clashed with the traditional openness Romanian nationalism, which he referred to as Romanianism, had towards modernization, equating Kranich's thought with xenophobia and nationalist patter. In response, Kranich accused Radulescu Motru of displaying a Masonic aversion towards orthodoxy, and of not having grasped the sense of spirituality to the statement, Romanianism is a spirituality coming to justify a realist order. He replied, Any man knows that the word spirituality has a strictly religious meaning. Later, he defined Radulescu Motru's thought as militant philosophical atheism, and, in a Gandareya article of 1937, referred to him as a Philosophic simpleton Gagot. As early as April 1933, Kranich wrote articles welcoming Adolf Hitler's rise to power in Germany, and began support for corporatist goals. Four years later, he authored a Gandareya article in which he praised Benito Mussolini and Italian fascism as the most adequate authoritarian alternative to positivism, materialism, capitalism and socialism alike. Fascism is a spiritual political concept whose manifestations, torn away from the tight circle of positivism and freed from the suffocating prison of materialism, fall into order on the ghostly marrow of history, prolonging themselves into the recess of past centuries and into the anticipations of the coming century. A man bears there, under his vast dome like forehead, our European century, Benito Mussolini. The state created by Mussolini is the exemplary state. Fascism is no longer capitalism, no longer socialism, but an authoritarian adjustment of every factor in production, geared into a social organism where nothing is left to chance. More than any other country, Romania needs such a moral transformation in the depths of its soul. The spirit of a new Rome will suggest the shape of history destined to be created by a nationalist Romania." This coincided with friendly relations between Kranich and the Italian Comitati Dazioni per l'Universalità di Roma the «Fascist International», first evidenced in 1933–1934, at a time when Mussolini was undecided over the local political movement which was to attract his support. CAUR was planning to advance Kranich money to start a new publication, entirely dedicated to support for the Italian model, but the design was abandoned when Hugo Sola, the Italian ambassador in Bucharest, advised against it Sola had been refused by the Iron Guard when approaching them with a similar proposal. As CAUR ended its all its relations with the Guard, who opted instead in favor of Nazi backing, it kept its contacts with Kranich and other less revolutionary-minded Romanian politicians. Mihail Manoelescu, Alexandru Avarescu, Nicolae Iorga, Alexandru Vita Vovod, Octavian Goga and A.C. Cusa. In 1935, Kranich, who had been a vice president of Cusa's National Christian Defense League, joined the fascist National Christian Party, but split with it after his ethnocratic ideal was dismissed by older party politicians 1937, writing in 1938 for his Porunk of Remy, Kranich argued, There exists authority based on love. The latter is Mussolini's authority over his people. 
It bursts out of the characteristic forces of the creative personality, like fire provoked by exploding bombs. Mussolini does not terrorize, for Mussolini does not kill. Mussolini attracts. All his system is based on the fervent and unanimous adherence of his people. Topic: <laughs> Late 1930s polemics. After Emil Sioran published his The Transfiguration of Romania in 1937, Kranich reacted to the book's pro-totalitarian but overtly skeptic message, calling it a bloody, merciless, massacre of today's Romania, without even the fear of matricide and sacrilege." To Sioran's support for modernization on a model which owed inspiration to both Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union, as well as to his criticism of Romanian traditions, Kranich replied by urging young people in general not to abandon "...faith in our kin's rising century." In early 1938, Nikolai Iorga, who had by then come into open conflict with the Iron Guard, voiced criticism of Kuvanchal, a paper associated with the latter political movement, arguing that, despite an emphasis on traditionalism and localism, its ideological guidelines took direct inspiration from the foreign models of Nazism and Italian fascism. The dispute, involving, on the other side, Ney Ionescu, drew echoes in Gandarea also challenged by Vulcanescu's argument that Gandarea had failed in their attempt to identify with orthodoxy, Kranich polemized that Gandirism was in fact opposed to all forms of leftist and rightist internationalism the internationalist currents dominating our age. At the time, publications headed by Ionescu and Kranich, despite maintaining separate visions on several core issues, showed equal support for a number of ideas up to a certain point, Kranich was a direct influence on Ionescu. Iorga and Kranich had come to clash over Kranich's emphasis on religion in front of Iorga's secularism, his political choices, as well as the few links Kranich still maintained with modernism. Similar criticism of Kranich's political influence on Gandarea was voiced, in retrospect, by Pamphil Saikaru, himself connected with the Iron Guard for part of his life. Saikaru believed that the magazine aimed to adapt the influential ideas of Roman Catholic political activism the Catholic action to an Orthodox environment. Kranich's orthodoxism was meant to facilitate the establishment of a party similar to the demo-Catholic ones." He also argued that, "...a political orthodox movement crystallized inside a party is destined to be a vain attempt, no matter how much talent N. Kranich may have. And a political ambition is not enough in creating a large-scale social movement. Hence the deviation of Gandarea magazine from its initial impulse." The magazine's articles featured accusations that Tudor Argezi's group, together with others writers, was condoning pornography, and Gandarea sided with Iorga's similar views on Argezi's work. In this context, Kranich and his collaborators included anti-Semitic texts in Gandarea's columns. At the time, through the voice of Kranich, the magazine hailed Nazi Germany for having immediately thrown over the border all Judaic pornographers and even those German writers infected with Judaism and fascist Italy for "...immediately sanctioning a scabrous short story writer". <laughs> 1940s Eventually, Kranich rallied with King Carol II's National Renaissance Front FRN and the authoritarian cabinet of Ion Gigurtu, inspiring the drafting anti-Semitic legislation, and being appointed to the leadership of the propaganda ministry. Despite the violent conflict between Carroll and the Iron Guard, he continued to be ambivalent towards the latter, especially after the FRN was confronted with the Soviet occupation of Bessarabia and the Second Vienna Award. Kranich allowed its activists to broadcast their anthem on public radio, carrying on as minister during the World War II Iron Guard government, the National Legionary State, in 1941, celebrating 20 years of existence. Gandarea hosted Kranich's thoughts on the Jewish question and the new authoritarian and anti-Semitic regime of Ion Antonescu, which it had come to support. Throughout this time, Judaism was our most bitter enemy. Not an adversary, but an enemy. Today, Judaism is vanquished. A splendid act of justice has suppressed the left-wing publications Adeveril, Deminata and Lupta. The rest, it was only in 1940 that I could carry out when, as Minister of Propaganda, I extirpated all Jewish daily and weekly publications in Romania. 
The holy right of speaking in the name of Romanianism belongs now to Romanians exclusively. There shall be no more artistic and cultural ideals where Judaism could dissimulate itself. Following the recovery of Bessarabia during Operation Barbarossa, Gandarea joined the group of magazines that were blaming the territory's original loss on the Bessarabian Jewish community, while Kranich identified past and present Soviet policies with Judeo Bolshevism. Disestablishment and legacy The magazine ceased publication in 1944, after the August 23 coup overthrew Antonescu and the Soviet Red Army entered Romania see Soviet occupation of Romania. In May 1945, Kranich was tried in absentia by a Communist Party-dominated People's Tribunal, as part of the Fascist Journalists Group. Alongside Pamphil Saikaru, Stelian Popescu, Grigor Manoilescu, and Radu Gir. He was charged with instigating racial hatred, endorsing the war against the Soviet Union, and helping to keep secret the war crimes of the Antonescu regime. Found guilty, Kranich was sentenced to life imprisonment and hard labor captured in 1947, he was to serve 15 years in the prisons of communist Romania. In a poll of 102 Romanian literary critics conducted in 2001 by the literary magazine Observator Cultural, the novel Crai de Curtia Vesh, written by Matteo Caragial and published in Gandarea in 1926–1927, was chosen, "...best Romanian novel of the 20th century". <laughs> Notes <laughs>